catch anyone up or anyone who's just sort of tuned in and if they don't know what's going on. Basically, I'm going to be doing another challenge and this challenge is half good, half bad. So, to explain this, basically, I've made a deck and it's got four really good cards in the deck and four really bad cards. So, as you can probably tell, the really bad cards are Nikki, Diego CR, Mitch and um, Winfred. And then the good cards are Walker, Naginata, MF and someone or another you'll be able to figure out and yeah we're just going to be playing around with this and basically it's one of those games where you just gotta hope that you get a really good hand and you don't have too many of the completely useless cards because then you just won't be able to do anything at all so yeah it's more sort of look for the odds when it comes to this challenge or we oh my god what a hand to go against and, oh my god, so Kike CR, Chakra, Ursula, and Lisbeth fucking CR. Oh my god, what a hand. Ah, oh, dude. Well, it's a, actually, um, Nikki CR isn't completely useless here, but, ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Yikes. Mmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, we're just going to have to old one of these does he know that i'll just old one of these cards though probably but ah oh, dude should have played we should have played should have played should have played should have played we have totally lost here oh my god ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's just no way because unless he hmm i just ah oh, dude what are we going to do here hmm <laughs> I guess all we can really do is just hope he goes for. We'll just play MF, but he won't. He won't be stupid and play all in on Lisbeth. So what we'd have to do is just hope he goes for Kiki. But then, if I do that, he would just uh, go all in on Kiki. So literally, there's nothing we can do to win here. So, ah, <laughs> oh, dude, why did I do that play? Seriously. What was I trying to achieve there, just holding Nikki? Like, of course he's not going to play anything on bloody Chakra Sync, my deck. Ah, there you go. You're welcome, Toxic Blood. You can just go get m You can just go KO me. Like, get, go have fun. <laughs> ah, dude. That was an absolutely bloody horrendous game. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, right, matey, you can... Yeah, there you go, have a KO, you're welcome. You're absolutely welcome, my dear. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, right. So, what have you learned today? If he plays his strong cards, don't just hold one of our weakest cards, hoping that he'll just waste a lot of pills, because he probably won't. So, with all that now in mind, let's play again and hope we do a lot better this time. Fingers crossed we don't get too bad deck and we can do some good here. Okay, level 50. It's not all too bad. And I've got a relatively okay deck. Basically, I've got hope that I can just do good with Walker and MF. And what should we do here? I can't waste any cards at all here. So, really, what I need to do is play Walker on something like 6. Yeah. And even if we just, just old Rhino or something like that, hopefully we can still do something. But, yeah, when it comes to the other cards in this deck, I'm just not going to really be able to win at all against him. Apart from Madeline, where I'd assume they just old Madeline. So then could just play something like Till and Winfred and Winifred. So, well, of course it's Winifred and not Winfred because it's not a bloody man. But, um, come on, hopefully we can do some good here because... I don't want to just get completely <laughs> annihilated in this mission, um, in this challenge, because that would be absolutely brutal if, you know, that happened. Oh, no. Okay, so, this could actually work, uh, this could work a lot in my favour, to be honest, because now I'm up on nine, he's got five, plays Madeline, so logically, just play Winifred, and we'll just be able to play that on her. And that should be all good. Yeah, perfect. That's a solid 8 damage done. And we could have maybe even furied Winfred more than, more than anything, but wasn't worth doing that. 
And now, all we need to do is just figure out the maximum we he can do, which is 60. So, obviously, I get the plus 20 from Emaf, so just need to do 42. So, that's that. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, dude. This is where it gets very difficult, because essentially, if I play Diego, then I've just... <laughs> There's not going to be any way I can win this now, it's fair, because my, my situation now is that since I've got Emeth, like, I can play him and all be good, or I can just not play him and then have just Diego to completely ruin this for me. Um, right, so, theoretically, if he doesn't play at all, I need to leave five pills for Diego. Um, do I just have to play, like, down to that on MF and then hope he just goes, like, all in on Rhino and... Hmm. With how I've played, I might be okay. But, um, I don't know. I, I don't think, because unless he goes all in on Rhino and that'd be 42, I've played 7, 14, 21, that'd be 40, 41. So... Of course he just goes all in on Rhino, to be honest. And I... Oh, no! I mean... Ah... Oh, I I understand... Actually, to be fair, I can't complain there, because... Again, he got me in a perfect loose-loose scenario, because... What he did there... Well, what I... What, what happened there is that... He, play, he went all in on Rhino, and... Even if I played enough pills to then beat Rhino... With, I wouldn't have been able to win at all with Diego, because Maxim I then could have done with Diego would have been 8. Obviously, the other card he had was the support card, which has um, essentially virtual 10 power. So, it meant that no matter what I did, I'd lost there. So, I can't really complain too much there, can I? Um, so, literally, what we've now got to do now is last attempt for this challenge and last match in this life gym as a whole. We just got to hope that we can actually... Ah, oh, of course we have to same, face the same bugger again. But we just got hope that, one, this guy is just doing poison missions, and two, um, just got hope that we can win here. Because that would be nice. <laughs> right, so, I'm going to assume that this guy is going to play all his pills on Scythe to get for poison. So, just going to Old Walker to then get a great pill advantage. And then, hopefully, if he is doing missions, and he just goes all in on... Scythe, which he might have. Um, I think, has he? Kinda. But hopefully with um, this pill difference, I should win like that. I mean, Rhino's the only problem here, but if we just get Winifred out of frame, or if we just, you know, Fury to our heart's content, we should be fine. Yeah, I've totally won this. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All I need to do is play 28, Fury, uh, okay, <laughs> all I need to do is play 28, Fury, and then that should be all good, Noel Cuthbert, so, is that all good? Yeah, perfect, and then, now, yeah, that's all good, perfect, perfect, so, all we need to do now is just play 6 on Nikki. And then, no matter what he does, like, even though he's got the DR, that's got a minimum of three, and I only need two damage to go beat him, so, no matter what he does, we have won here, so, that is the perfect note to end on, to be honest, because at least we got to, you know, finish on a win, and that's just, you know, so good. Why wouldn't you want to finish on a win, to be honest, you know? <laughs> you tell me, I don't know why anyone wouldn't want to win on a win. <laughs> ah, right, so yeah, we did we did calculate that perfectly, and we didn't completely miss pill there. That's nice. No, but there we go. We got the win, and that is all that matters. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to end this video and end the live stream as a whole on this match. For everyone who has been watching, or for anyone who's caught up on this, um, who's watched this live stream and decided to catch up. 
thank you for watching. I appreciate it a lot. And I've been it's one. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.